The next thing we're going to take a look at with regards to the gr class grade book is how to take those percentages and have an impact on the actual grade. So this is the grade calculation port part of this. So go into any one of your courses and we're going to go down and click on grades and you've got your grade book open. Okay, so in the previous video we walked through how to create grade categories and give them percents. Now we're, we're going to tell them to use those percents in this grade book. So it's really a two-step process. We're going to go into grade settings and we're going to go down to where it says grade calc options. With grade calc options, uh, you can choose to uh, filter this by specific grading task or you can choose to filter this by specific uh, progress periods again at Webster Grove School District and at the high school we would only have a progress period in a semester um, but uh, what we would do here is we would say that it would be an in progress grade the default is no calculation which is going to make uh, the gradebook not calculate anything and we definitely don't want that uh, we'll get a little bit more guidance as we get closer to the beginning of a new school year but uh, as far as the grading scale there might be a new one that appears in here like WGHS grading scale but for now, I'm going to choose uh, grades A through F with rounding. Again, be listening for uh, updated instructions on this grading scale option. Um, if you are choosing weighted categories, as I suggested, or at least demonstrated in the previous video, you're going to want to check this one here. If not, it should calculate based on an average of all points. And you would need to do this for each one of the terms down below. So just going through and checking in progress, uh, whatever grading scale is communicated here. If you're weighting with categories like classwork and so forth, you're going to choose that option there. Uh, then we would press save and we would have this one all set up and ready to go. Again, the first step really is to deal with categories and then you would come down to grade calc options. Uh, in order to switch over to another grade book, uh, really we need to uh, go back to the instruction and teaching center and then move on to the next course and we can go into here and say grades and we're right back here to the familiar grade book with settings okay that's the process of setting up grade calc options